every single thing that I investigated led me further from the guys. There was just nothing to connect them except for this agenda of the the moral panic, the cops' agenda, that and that is not the way to drive an investigation. I mean, there were some very simple facts that nobody investigated, and it's kind of, you know, common knowledge that police investigation 101 that you investigate all of the families and their whereabouts and what was going on inside of those houses before the kids were murder, murdered to make sure that there's no possibility that there, anyone had anything to do with it that knew the children because it was such a it was such a personal murder Peter Jackson um, Sir Peter Jackson and his partner Fran Walsh became very interested in the case and spent years and many dollars trying to um, investigate some of the problems with the case and try to get a new trial for Damien and Jason and Jesse. And what happened was they brought information, including DNA evidence and forensics evidence, to the district court and the door was slammed in their face, basically, after spending millions of dollars and you know all these years. And so they needed to do something with what they had begun and they came to me and asked me if I was interested in getting involved in the story and going down and investigating further on the ground. And um, I was compelled by what I read. I was even more compelled by speaking with Damien on the phone and trying to you know, understand why this happened. So I decided after many months of research, I decided that he was innocent. They were all innocent and that I needed to go and figure out what happened. And so that's what I did. And I just started knocking on doors and there are people who had never been spoken to. And there was the, the advantage of um, what I thought our film was able to do is we had 11 years since the last film had been made. And since the trial, we had 15 years. So it was like, it was easier to kind of start from a different perspective of what if they didn't do it? How, you know, how could this have happened? And so we went around and had a lot of doors slammed in my face and then a lot of people had a lot to say and they were so f happy that I was actually asking those questions because nobody had done that before. So, And then the police, when they were investigating this case, um, they were in a moral panic as we talked about earlier today and they were looking for things that would lead them to the satanic killer that murdered those three babies. They weren't looking to things that would lead them to where the step parent was on the night that the child went missing or what was going on in the neighborhood that might have been questionable. They wanted something that would lead them to Damien. That was their whole goal. There was a full moon coming. They thought he was the devil. They thought that he murdered these kids in a satanic way. And so they didn't ask the right questions. They asked questions that would get them to that answer. Well, it was 100% about religion. I mean, Damien Eccles was a Wiccan, and they didn't know what a Wiccan was, but they assumed it was a satanic connection. And so everyone in every church, and we're talking about hundreds of churches around this area, we're talking about the devil and satanic murders, and the parents were in an uproar. They weren't letting their children out at night, and it wasn't a satanic murder. So it, there's just no possible way to do justice with all of that panic. There is just, it's not possible. They, I mean, the police were going to these seminars to learn about what to look for in a ritualistic murder. And it was like this whole, this thing that it was swept, that swept the country. And I think it, it ultimately came over here at that same time as well in the 90s, where it was just satanic panic. I don't think that there will ever be justice in this case. I, I did believe that there would be, you know, when we released the film, I thought it would be so obvious, you know, but now I don't believe that. It's unfortunate. I think that the system in America is so political that there's no way that this could ever turn around and it's too bad. I mean, I feel like they should legally be exonerated. Their names should be cleared. They shouldn't have to go through so many hoops to travel to England or Canada or New Zealand or France. I mean, they have what they have to do. Damien's, uh, he's on a book tour, and what he has to do to get into each country is crazy. I mean, but that's that's probably going to be that way for the rest of his life. And I, I just can't imagine that the state will ever, if they were to investigate another person, which they said they would do, then they would 
ultimately have to pay these guys each. They were in prison for almost 19 years. There are three of them. So it's a million dollars a year, I think, that they would have to be paid. So you're talking about close to $60 million that the state of Arkansas would have to pay if somebody else did it. They're never going to do that. You know, it's all about dollars and cents. So it's really tragic. My first job in broadcast, in, in television broadcast, was for CBS News. And I was in the long form journalism department there. And we just, I mean, we only had money during the, what they call sweeps, which is when they're trying to get ratings for, you know, advertisers to spend more money on the station. And they just don't want to put resources into these types of reports. You have shows like 60 Minutes, 48 Hours. I mean, they do really good reports, um, but they spend the time on it. So you're talking about just like average news channel, regular news that people are watching every night. It's not there. The resources are not there. So documentaries are very important. And with the internet and the way people are watching news nowadays, it opens this up for documentary filmmakers. And I think there's a huge, just there's a huge um, jump in how many people are getting into this field because it's it's accessible. You don't need that much money to make a documentary anymore. I mean, you can use one of these cameras and you can go out and knock on doors yourself. So I encourage people to take it on because, you know, we need more of it. This information needs to get out.